Hello, my name is Adonis, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'm going to be doing what I call uh, my weekly financial spread. This is a new spread. Um, I was going to do this anyway, but obviously not under these conditions. So I think this will be very helpful. So uh, let's get after it. Okay. <clears throat> Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see. Uh, what does my Aries financial outlook look for the week of March 22nd into the 20th? What does my Aries financial outlook look for March 22nd into the 28th? What does all of my Aries financial outlook look for March 22nd to the 28th? Some cards that I need. Okay, that feels good. Some cards that I need to see. All right. Okay. All right. All righty. So right now. There is a little bit of an issue right here. This is the traditional way, Herefin, traditional way of making money. So, in the beginning of the week, um, it's looking like they're, you know, the traditional way in which you make your money, your finances. Um, the outlook is, is, is feeling and it's looking like it's, um, it's, it's doing pretty good, it, it's, you know, thus far. All right. And it looks like there may be plenty of choices, okay? It looks like there's plenty of choices to make. Um, we have here is a, we have the 10 of pentacles here. Um, and it looks like, you know, traditional way to make money. There's a lot of choices, um, financial legacy, long term. Things are looking, the beginning of the outlook was, was still looking pretty good, okay? All righty, all righty. Okay, so see, it's gonna be um, a long twelve signs. Just say that. All right. Now things are getting towards the middle of the week. Things are gonna get interesting. Okay, we got the ten of swords here. So you're gonna feel like there, there definitely there's gonna be a ruination of plans. Okay, definitely gonna be a ruination of plans. The traditional way in which you've made your finances and all the choices are going to slowly be getting to erode. Going to be, you know, um, obviously because of the situation. Um, we also have the moon card here. Now something, um, there's going to be this feeling that something is being hidden. Um, something is not quite right. Um, there are going to be a lot of you out there are going to feel as though, um, you know, um, there's not something's not quite right, even though there is this, this this pandemic going on, you're gonna feel like you know, um, something's not quite right, and also, uh, it's gonna be a ruination of plans, it's gonna be hidden perils. There's also an aspect, a part of you guys out there that's also like, you know, this is kind of like going to be the end here, and this is causing you a whole lot of anxiety. Nine of Swords here, whole lot of, a lot of anxiety, a whole lot of stress. It's keeping you up late at night, obvious, obviously. It's keeping you up late at night. A lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, which is very obvious to see here. Understand why. And you're going to feel like you're at a crossroads. There's definitely going to be a crossroads. Like the way in which things were done before, you're going to feel like, okay, I can either go this way or that way. So you're going. To, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to kind of change things up a little bit, change um the way you feel the way you think what you know the 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 way that everything was perceived before is being kind of solid uh and so there's there's some real this is a real game changer life changing experience for you and at the end of the by the end of the week you're definitely going to feel like you've been left out in the cold okay so that's pretty accurate um as to what's going on for a vast majority of us obviously <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, let's see what kind of strength you're dealing with here because I'm, you know, and that's why I was kind of reluctant to do a spread, a financial spread, because it's going to be like this with a lot of signs, but I'm just going to go anyway. So 
What are your strengths here? What kind of strengths are you dealing with here? What, what's your strengths? What kind of strengths are my Aries dealing with during this week? What kind of strengths are my Aries going to be dealing with here? What kind of strengths are my Aries going to be dealing with here? Okay. So, the strengths that you're dealing with, my Aries. Uh, the fact that you do realize that you're at a crossroads, okay? The, the fact that you do, you know, even though you may not like it, you realize that at this point, um, you're at a fork in the road when it comes to your finances, okay? Um, so, you do realize that there is definitely going to have to be a plan of action with this Two of Swords energy here. Also, we got the Hermit card here, which means there's definitely going to be a lot of thorough searching, self-reflecting, self-evaluating uh, that's going to be going on over this period of time. You've got a lot of free time on your hands, so you're going to be doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of self-reflecting um, about, got the Hereford card here, the traditional ways in which you've made your finances, okay? Um... You're also going to feel like there's going to be an aspect of you. Got the Eight of Cups here. This is an energy here, like this kind of just want to walk away, very defeated energy. But again, these are all your strengths here. So basically, what this is saying here is, especially with the Eight of Cups, how that could be viewed as a strength is, basically, you're kind of going through the steps of, of dealing with a traumatic situation. You know, you're going, first, there's, there's hate. Uh, the anger, then, then acceptance, and then hate and anger, same thing, sorry, I'm being redundant, but this, this, they're slowly coming around to accepting the situation the way that it is, okay, so these are the pro, that's, that's how this eight of cups situation is looked upon as something positive, because you're walking, you're kind of walking away from the situation, you just want to walk away from it, say to hell with it, um, and, and also, it's kind of helping you process, go through all of the, the emotional processes you need to go through. Now, with that being said, we got the lover's card here. And then with the financial spread, this <clears throat> does not necessarily mean that this is this is a love interest here. Could be also as well. But there are part there's a partnership here that's gonna be had here. There's a partnership uh, in, in these times of peril. There does seem to be some kind of partnership opportunity that you may have been putting off that you may want to, you know, uh, you may want to start looking into here because it's presenting itself here. OK, so that partnership or, or, or joint venture you was thinking about going in with someone, but it wasn't the right time. It's now it now it seems to be a good time to start kind of like putting pen to paper, putting putting the idea out there that once this thing is finally over, that you're going to have to approach things from a different perspective, and it's going to you're going to need a partner to really help you get things back on track again. Okay. Also, we have the King of Wands here. That's an energy that again projects looking at the big picture, long term, not looking at the micro. Okay, looking at the macro, the big picture here, and that's what this King of Wands energy here is. Okay, again, these are your strengths. You know, you're, you're processing everything, you're dealing with it, but you're thinking, okay, in order for me to kind of get things back to where it was, I'm going to have to form some type of partnership. Make, and this partnership does not necessarily mean with just one person. You could be have multiple partners in the business, okay? And kind of thinking long term, long term, big picture, big picture. All right, so keep that in mind. Big picture, got the strength card here. You have the strength card here. Uh, looking towards the future about something that you're passionate about, okay? This would be a good time to move into a situation, again, putting, putting plans into the ether and putting pen to paper, writing these things down. Moving into something that you feel passionate about because the will of fortune is definitely in your favor with this situation. It's definitely the will, of, uh, the will of fortune is going to kind of start turning in your favor. Once this thing is it finally comes to an end, then the will of fortune is going to be moving into your, moving in a more of a favorable direction to, for you to move towards your passions with other people as partners. Okay, this is not a, a solo thing that you're going to be able to do on your own. You're going to have to partner with other people. Okay, so with that being said, <clears throat> 
oh, we, I, I, I mean, have to do this. We've got to see what are the weaknesses of a particular situation, other than the obvious. What are the potential weaknesses that you're dealing with here? What are the potential weaknesses that you're dealing with here? What are the potential weaknesses that you're dealing with? Uh, some cards we need to see, some cards we need to see, some cards. One, two, six, nine. Um, all right, so. <clears throat> potential weaknesses of this particular situation. We have here the page of swords, which is, it's a little bit of, um, it could be looked upon as being a, kind of like a little bit adolescent, a little bit immature, because it's something new, okay, so you're definitely going to have, what you're definitely wanna, going to want to do, my Aries, is make sure, I know there's supposed to be weaknesses, but I'm going to kind of put a little bit of positivity into a little bit of this uh, negativity as well, okay, hope you don't mind, all right, so, what it's saying here is saying page of swords. It's going to be some kind of immature, the way that you're kind of going about it, kind of like unrealistic. But you're going to have to fine to it, you know, kind of like sculpt it till you get to something that begins to look like something that's going to be able to stick here. Okay. Also, the weakness is at the moment, got star card, seems to be a complete lack of hope. It seems like at this time, like things are just kind of hopeless at this point. Okay. You're going to have to fight through this. Fight through, fight through the, this, this, this mind fuck here. Just kind of fight through this. In addition here, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. You know, very down to earth, able to nurture, able to save. Uh, no, nah, not really. You know, you're going to, you, you know, at, at, at this point, um, all hands on deck as far as finances go. Okay. Also, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. That's somebody that's happy. Is kind of content, solidarity, happy with themselves, um, able to have a little bit of loose cash, you know, be a little frivolous. That's not the case this week, okay? Um, you know, unfortunately, there's not going to be a whole lot of coin, if you will, a whole lot of money that you can be really frivolous with. Um, and also, the final weakness is you got the cherry card here is that you're not going to be able to take control of the situation and move it in a direction that you wanted to go in um, because of obvious reasons. So those are the weaknesses of this particular situation during the week of the 22nd to the 28th. Okay, before I shut this thing down, let's get some uh, advice from my local deck here. Any additional information the spirits want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information the spirits want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information the spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down? Here we go. So, <clears throat> repetition. At the moment, even though it's it, it, things are kind of in a haze, repetition, just just kind of get through it. Just kind of keep, spirit saying, just keep going through the motions. Repetition, 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 repetition. Just kind of get through this. Uh, we had used to have this term uh, when I was in um, basic training in the Army here. We used to call it, um, basic training was, it was called OSET, all one step. So it was like uh, third, was it 15 months, 13, 15 months. Um, I would go to basic training and take my MOS at the same time I was in the infantry. So, and each time a week went by, we would say, ah, 13 weeks in a wake up, 10 days in a wake up. So, you know, so we would just like check, check the, check the weeks out. Okay. Pretty soon we're going to come down to three weeks in a wake up, a wake up, meaning sunshine, brightness, the pains ending, that type of thing. So at this point, repetition, just keep going through the re repetitive motions, repetitive motions, you're going to get through this, okay, all right, how many ever weeks in a wake up is how long this thing is going to take, just kind of, just, just keep moving this methodical task, to, you know, just keep yourself occupied, now, reaction, obviously, something's happening and you're reacting to it, for every action, it's going to op be opposite, equal reaction, you want that reaction to be a positive one, okay, you want to be positive. You want to keep yourself out of the negative. And with that being said, listen, 
do yourself a favor. Stay informed. But do not keep yourself glued to that fucking TV because you will go insane. Trust me. This kind of, you know, doubling down on, re or negative, repetitive information all of the time, 24 hours a day. The news cycle, I understand if it bleeds, it leads, man, but this is getting kind of ridiculous. And you want to stay informed, stay informed, but don't keep yourself in that space for too long because, again, it'll you, you, you'll kind of start to lose it. You know, just, just keep things in perspective. Keep things in perspective, okay? This too shall soon pass. It's going to be a while, but it'll pass, okay? Put things in perspective. The thing, the reason things are locked down like this is because this is a health crisis, okay? Um, and so let's just keep our fingers crossed that people will do what they need to do to kind of get through this. Keep that feeling, that that, that aspect of community, okay? Um, being being decent to your fellow man because, you know, right now everything is kind of the beginnings of it. So everybody's kind of like, okay, you know, it's really cool by y'all, but, you know... You know, at some point, it's going to be this feeling of when you, you have nothing to lose. And when you have nothing to lose, you have a tendency to lose it. Don't do that. Stay watching people's channels like mine or others. Keep that energy grounded and keep yourself positive, okay? So, um, that's going to do it for this particular financial uh, reading here. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys to get any readings um pertaining to this um i'm going to yeah not a good time to do readings for this but i'm not going to do any financial spread readings um because they're all going to be negative <laughs> personal we're going to be negative, so i'm not going to do it but um what i will say is that i'm still going to be dropping my love readings um probably only going to drop two or two or three of those but you know so this is going to be the new norm so all right so i love you guys very much um, stay safe, stay balanced. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.